Okay, welcome to Credit Repair in the 21st Century. I'm referencing the book uh, that is the title. And um, at the time of this recording, it actually is not on Amazon right now, but it will be uh, by the time anyone sees this. I'm certain of it. And uh, again, we're going to reference um, the book. And this is uh, similar to my um, other courses in that it's not so much fast pace. It's um, a lot of information at one time. It's like really dense. And it's always like under an hour. Okay. And as I go through the book as a reference, I'm reading the book uh, somewhat ver verbatim, but at the same time, because I wrote it, I'm including the things that um, you know are going through my mind while I'm while I'm reading it. You know, extra tips and tricks and stuff like that. So let's jump into it. And for instance, before I even get to that, before we even start, you'll have one paragraph from this guide book handbook you'll have one section or one paragraph that will take 30 to 60 days to complete that's where we're at and it is free and uh easy but i'm just saying it takes time so let's jump into it and i'm sure you'll understand what i'm uh what I'm what I'm uh, teaching so this is not your typical credit repair guide this is a handbook that will give you results this isn't when you send letters to creditors asking them to verify a debt this isn't calling those creditors only to not have any real bargaining chips it certainly isn't having someone else do the credit repairing for you okay now some people do want that but for this particular guide that isn't the uh the focus right but i certainly understand someone else doing it but i also recommend you do it yourself and the reason i recommend that you do it yourself is because um you won't have to pay anybody okay uh where were we um do, 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 do. This is a straight to the point, legal, lawful, financial remedy to your credit issues. Okay, this is provided you read thoroughly, pay attention, and put in the effort required. Okay, we, we're not going to go over thousands of pages of publications or, law, or, or learn, rather, definitions for uh, thousands of words. We are going to learn how to use effective methods correctly and apply what we learn so um, this book is uh, it's sequential uh, in that this is the way I learned it but it's also unorganized because it isn't like A to Z you know what I mean it's like it's different points that you have to get alright so credit Let's, we, we making this easy right you're gonna see how easy uh, how easy this is watch all right, this is a quick lesson for the, this is the beginning that you need to know. When you're dealing with credit, remember to keep a paper trail. This means do everything through the mail. Make copies of what you send out and in some cases what you receive. Uh, whenever possible, use mail and not the internet. You don't have to send certified mail every time. It largely depends on how you, uh, how many creditors you're dealing with, okay, which we'll discuss later. If you have four creditors to contact and you can afford it, send it certified. If you have 12 creditors to contact, unless you can afford sending 12 certified mail pieces, I would suggest simply buying stamps and sending your mail regular. So. If you have four creditors and you can send all four of those letters certified, 
it you know you probably say okay it's worth it you know you might be trying to get a credit card or some and with the right score a couple points extra you can get that credit card go ahead and send it certified you know put put a little bit more energy into it uh, but if you have 12 creditors you might can get eight of them away from you with simple letters you know you might not have to send it certified you know this this happens you know you're gonna have soft cookies and hard cookies so sometimes you know you gotta fight your way through um, so you heard of the three credit bureaus TransUnion, Equifax, Experian um, you probably wouldn't be watching this if you didn't know that but if you are that's even better that's that's like you 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 are you 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 got lucky <laughs> if you're watching this. Um, the first thing you should know is you can get your credit reports from all three of those bureaus: TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. You can get them uh, free every year. Okay, don't believe that you have to pay for uh, your personal credit reports. Okay, you don't have to pay for your uh, personal credit reports. And um, do it through the mail if you can. Even if you do it online, it, it should be good enough, but just try to do it through the mail. These credit bureaus, um, they like to play games. So if they don't respond or they're not giving you the information that you asked for, um, and luckily we have answers for that, if they don't give you the information you want, then you know you can move forward on, uh, on them. So again this is credit repair in the 21st century okay let's see and to get them to get those credit reports just do a Google search Google TransUnion report Equifax report Experian report or they even have like freecreditreport.com if that hasn't been you know usurped that that if that's still good to use I don't know if it's still good to use and keep in mind just as a disclaimer I'm giving you this this information it's up to you to do something with it take it with caution not a grain of salt because you know it works you can go to all these websites I'm talking about and they work so not with a grain of salt but be cautious because I'm not responsible for you the same way a doctor or holistic health coach would tell you they're not responsible the same way you know anyone else would tell you they're not responsible just be uh, cautious of the information uh, don't use it crazily okay don't be giving it away and waking people up you know what I'm saying you can give it away I'm giving it to you right now that's why I want you to have it because I know it's gonna change your life but don't go crazy with the power you know what I'm saying and just tell it to everybody and everybody's cousin and auntie and mom like you know help who you can help but just don't be out there telling strangers and people just because you have the information because that messes it up for everybody because this type of stuff affects everything and then they change laws surrounding it so just be careful with the information okay I'm not like trying to scare you or anything I'm just saying I had to put my disclaimer in because I am not responsible for what you do the same way a stock uh, broker would you know would tell you you know or, or if you listen to somebody who's into stocks they'll tell you hey this isn't financial advice okay which this isn't you know uh, so anyway after you order those reports while those reports are on the way the TransUnion the Equifax and the Experian make sure you freeze all of your credit files if you don't know what a credit file freeze is it's when you stop your credit from being accessed randomly uh, it's a thing called soft inquiries and hard inquiries it'll stop those from going on your report without your permission and you want to freeze TransUnion you want to freeze Equifax and you want to freeze Experian okay you want to freeze all of those credit files after you do that and, and remember you can do that online now the freezing can actually be done online and if you can do the freeze online you can do that but I recommend getting the reports in paper 
I recommend getting everything in paper really but just for this you know just to make sure we all do it correctly we're gonna uh, do it that way okay and again the reason you want to keep a paper trail is because if they don't give you what they what what you ask for and they're playing games but still not removing accounts or whatever or inquiries or changing the info if they don't do that again you can move forward on them by actually uh by actually utilizing a third party which we'll get to as well so it's a lot but it's i'm gonna i'm gonna kick it up real quick right here i wish i could see the time guys how much time i okay here it is down here okay so we're at 11 minutes so we're gonna keep it under hours so we're actually doing really good so disputing so the next thing that should be done is reviewing your credit report so this is like 30 60 days into the future from now okay or sooner you order your reports you freeze your uh, files the TransUnion Equifax and Experian and then what then what You want to find any negative accounts, collections, inquiries. And after that, you want to uh you want to dispute them, right? You want to use an affidavit of denial to dispute and have it notarized. And what that is, it just has your name, date, who is to, where it's from, uh the account number if you have it the alleged account number the notary section at the bottom uh, and you should get used to sending out these affidavits of denial you should get used to sending them out because a lot of times when they're utilized correctly and they're notarized um, you'll get the accounts removed quicker especially if they're fraudulent accounts okay so you want to use something and, and it's just the title affidavit of denial you know and you can put number one number two or you can make a sentence and you know I do not know or owe this alleged debt you know it's an affidavit of denial you have no knowledge of the debt that they're referring to and um, and uh, we'll talk more about affidavits but that's what you're going to use to dispute don't dispute online dispute through the mail okay and um, keep it simple and straight to the point you know affidavit of denial uh, and I'll show you what affidavit to use once we get deeper into it so uh, now we're gonna go with uh, now we're gonna go with your check systems report so now we're past the three credit bureaus um, what we've done is we've ordered our accounts uh, our reports rather from all three TransUnion, Equifax, Experian right after we ordered those reports while those reports were on the way we froze all three of those and then once we got the report we put uh, together some affidavits those affidavits uh, are, ca are called affidavits of denial we put those together we printed those out and what we said on them was this uh, account and this is directed to uh, the credit bureau right this account or this uh, alleged debt uh, I have no knowledge of all right and then uh, you know you establish the privacy uh, laws and things of that nature when you use affidavits so that's why it's important to use affidavits uh, because they have to be responded to so uh, as a matter of fact let's get to uh okay and so what the paper says yes again is uh, I have no knowledge of this debt and um, you know you'll await your response so and then I'm gonna teach you what to do if it comes back and it's still not removed 
okay because it's different ways of doing this and you'll get about 30 to 60 ways of doing this if you're paying attention as as we go through this book so the next report right let's put TransUnion Equifax and Experian on a back burner for now right that was 15 minutes ago now we're on to the new reports the check systems report and the sage stream okay so you probably never heard of check systems okay check systems is a nationwide specialty consumer reporting agency under the federal fair credit reporting act okay they have information on you and they keep a file on you that the three credit bureaus uh, somewhat have access to uh, which they're not supposed to because the brand of family that they are in uh, is different than another you know whole different type of corporation with a whole different mission statement they're not supposed to be you know exchanging information but nonetheless this can be helpful in removing negative accounts okay because sometimes if you delete information on your check systems file it'll be removed from your credit file since your credit files shares information that is on your check systems account such as address email so let me say that again you have your credit file over here transiting Equifax Experian and you got the check systems they're talking to each other and they're exchanging information they're not supposed to but they do but it's one way to you know cut it in the middle and stop them from communicating is to definitely get your check systems score report and uh, let me make sure I'm giving it to you correctly your score your report freeze your check systems account and then after that you want to uh, dispute anything you find on it that you don't agree with names addresses emails because those same names addresses and emails actually are communicating are actually verifying information so when they say they verify something uh, they could be saying they verified it through various sources but when they say they verified it whether in or outside their brand of family they they're, they're uh, corroborating and exchanging information that is basically um, exposing you in your finance or whatever you'd like to call it. So uh, the check systems report, order it. You can find it on Google. Um, it'll look a little bit different than a credit report, but you can find the check systems uh, report on Google. That's C-H-E-X. S Y S T E M S, right? Checks. C is in cat, H is in high, E is in eerie, and X as in xylophone. Check systems report. And you wanna you wanna freeze that as well. You wanna dispute any uh anything you you don't want on it. Any any fraudulent uh, any fraudulent information. And you wanna do the same thing for Sage Stream. You want to get your report, your score, you want to freeze it, and let's get into SageStream. So <clears throat> it's, a, it's simply a consumer reporting agency that is regulated by the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Okay, it provides consumer reports and credit scores. Uh, to different types of companies including credit card issuers, retailers, and wireless telephone service providers. Alright. And so um, what you'll do is again get that report. S-A-G-E stream. Sage stream. Okay. Uh, and all of this is like literally a Google search away. So once you order your score and your report you want to freeze it. So basically every one of these companies that I'm telling you about, now that you get the picture, you freeze them, 
you get the reports and you dispute everything on the reports and this in turn having such a a high amount of um, paperwork going through the mail this also raises your score okay uh, again you can do this online or through the mail sage stream and check systems another thing with sage stream that many people don't know you can opt out on sage stream okay and the way you can opt out on sage stream it's going to the website all right, it stops you from getting advertisements and it stops you from getting pre screen offers in the mail. Okay, um, you can elect to have your name and address removed from pre screen lists compiled by SageStream. You do this by requesting to opt out. Okay, and that's exactly actually what it says on the website. And, um, I, would, I opt out permanently, personally, uh, but you can choose to opt out every five years um, that or, or permanently. You know, I, I forget sometimes different stuff I have going on, so I just do stuff permanently because, you know, if you, if you temporarily freeze your credit files or your check systems or say stream or Innovis, which we'll get to in a second, it's weird because... Um, you know sometimes you'll forget and then just you know things happen that just is so random okay next up is the Innovis report Innovis is another company uh, that communicates with credit bureaus and keeps uh, data um, their mission statement is to provide consumer data solutions uh, for businesses Right, fraud prevention, identity verification, receivables, receivables management, credit information. Um, we enable credit reports, dispute resolution, fraud and active duty alerts, blocks, security freezes, and opt outs. Okay, and I think Innovis is like a part of LexisNexis in a way, from my understanding. Uh, once you find it with a Google search, Innovis, I-N-N-O-V-I-S, um, the Innovis report request form allows you to uh, fill it out online, and then you can dispute things on, on that report as well. And I believe you can also, uh, uh, to opt out, which I didn't... Um, go over the second way you can opt out is if you go over uh, if you go to opt out prescreen.com okay if you guys buy this video I might just include the book I might just include the PDF with it okay because everything I'm saying is on this PDF um, so yeah, optoutprescreen.com. I'm pretty sure it still exists. So, yeah. Okay. Um, other reports include your work number report, the ARS report, the return activity report, and the ICS report. You don't have to know about those, and we won't go over those because they are normally uh, in inconsequential. Okay. Okay. So, we just going to finish up here with some credit weapons. Okay. Now, all of what you just heard me talk about, okay, um... But actually, before I get to that, let me summarize for you guys. Okay, so we frozen, ordered the reports, and disputed TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, as well as Check Systems, CHEX Systems, SageStream, S A G E S T R E A M, SageStream. 
We've opted out on Sage Stream. We've opted out on Innovis. I N N O V I S. We've ordered the Innovis report. We've ordered the Sage Stream report. We've ordered the Check Systems report, right? Just just taking them off the list, right? We've got the reports for everything. We've got the score for everything and we uh, reviewed everything and we either disputed everything or in the process of disputing everything. And how are we doing these disputes? With affidavits of denial and if you're, you, if you're um, combating check systems or say stream or Innovis or any of the other non-major credit bureaus, uh, you're going to use affidavit to remove fraudulent information. Okay, so TransUnion, Equifax, Experian, um, as well as uh, certain creditors, you can use affidavits of denial. And then for the uh, companies, let's say you've never heard of before, you can use affidavits to remove fraudulent information. So let's do the credit weapons, right? Um, all of what you've just heard me talk about uh, should be done to get these optimal results okay and typically these forms whether online or, or on paper can be completed in a matter of minutes uh, my way won't work like your way your way won't work like my way we all have different number of accounts queries loans tax liens whatever you should be continuously on top of your credit improving your credit doing what you have to do okay make sure you communicate via mail with your creditors you can dispute any creditor in any corporation or business on your credit report there is no you know limit it doesn't matter you know if it's a student loan or whatever it doesn't matter use affidavit of denial signed by a uh, notary publics in your responses and communications uh, affidavits establish uh, that you are under privacy laws in the FCRA all right and from my understanding, removing public records uh, like bankruptcies and tax liens require uh, a, a 609, a simple 609 form from, from what I know. Okay. So uh, you can file complaints on creditors with the Better Business Bureau, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Okay. If they're coming at you crazy, file complaints on creditors with your state's attorney general of consumer affairs, okay, as well as the Federal Trade Commission. All right. And the CFPB website has a PDF, which I've included in this course. Okay. And it has even more lists of agencies that keep consumer information on you. All right. Use the information contained in this book with caution and view it not as financial advice. I am not responsible for what you do with this information. Now, this is a lot. And I, and I understand that everything I just told you, you can confirm it. And it is a lot. Um, thank you for purchasing, first of all. But, yeah, dispute or do it in this order. You want to order the report. You want to get the score. You want to uh, freeze it. You want to review the reports. You want to dispute everything. And um, you do that with affidavit of denials and affidavit to remove fraudulent information. And um, if you guys take my more advanced courses, I'll teach you. And I mean, there's so many different things you can do with the credit, right? But those agencies I just listed. The CFPB and the Federal Trade Commission, your state's attorney general, use utilize all of that, okay, and ask them to prove that that information they got is correct. Because, which I was going to get into, if you if you take my more advanced finance or uh, financial courses, you are going to actually invite them to say that it's your account. How you, you know how they always go, the debt was verified. Well, you could get rid of that through the different third-party reports I talked about. 
by cutting off certain information, deleting certain information. You could do that, but it's also a way for you to take different routes where you will actually welcome them saying, oh, I got a $10,000 debt to pay? Okay, bet. You will welcome that instead, but that's a different level in a different class on a different course. So you can take that if you wish. And um, thank you. Uh, any comments, questions, or concerns, email M-O-R-A-G-N-E-B-1 at Gmail. I'll leave all of that information, the description, the email, and all that stuff uh, should be under uh, the video or it'll be in the description of the uh, place you bought this, okay? Whatever website that is. So, boom. Which should be my gum road, okay? It should be my gum road. I have a, I have two different types of courses. One for, um, well, I have the NKN course, the notary course, and I have, uh, I have uh, courses on credit. But I also um, have a different gum roll where um, I have a Moorish order of remedy. It's called Moor. M O O R, and that's on Gumroad too. If you guys want to get into that, if you're um, if you're more, if you're more, get into that because I offer ways, I offer financial uh, courses on how to operate with you know the nine eight number and all of that. So get in tune, get in tune. Peace, peace.